Hi everybody, it is Ann Jindra. Uh, you might know me better by my screen name, my other screen name, Alia of Wayrest. That's right, I was in Daggerfall. I'd be detested under my father, Akatosh, who obviously was in all of the games, way back in the day when Bethesda was an indie company. So we did actually help help her launch Arena, Daggerfall. Um, they did go in-house after that. So we were not a part of, you know, Morrowind, Skywind, Skyrim, and all of that. And um, years later, went back to play the games, got online with ESO. So, you know, tune in, game with us, you know, drop us a line on Facebook. There's links below. Um, hit the subscribe button and check it out. Bright moons, you're me. back! And not that I had any doubts, mind you. That's so, me. success? Did you find Marzula Joe's notes and memory stones? No, I um, I actually literally ran that dungeon. Um, it's not something that Bethesda looks down on in their older ones. You did dungeon run. His work didn't turn out well. He resurrected his pet Senshi, and things went very poorly. A Senshi tiger? That's remarkable. If he managed that, the frog should present no challenge at all. Thank you so much, Walker. When I publish I'll about right this, down. I'll be sure to mention your contribution. I can't wait to see the look on Kaldathir's face. Um, their lore is incredible. It's very complete. I wonder how long after death you can perform these rituals. Do you think they would work on something smaller, like a mosquito? So many questions. You're telling me you don't think insects have souls? Oh, let's not overreact. Advanced spellcraft is as much an art as it is a science. Oh, honey. Sure, he may have encountered a few bumps along the way, but that's to be expected. I won't fall into the same traps. Trust me. You can see how they're using the Khajiit. Um, I'm a cat person, obviously, so that's a little bit alarming to me. Again, you know, it's just a case of... One of the reasons the best actually made it was because they had this feature where they let you equip things before it was cool, um, and it would show on player mannequin instead of a. They used a three-dimensional approach to it, especially, so it wouldn't just, you know, you, you couldn't turn it originally in arena, but it did look like a ma like a, a um, department store mannequin. You know, every everything any gamer guy could want, and you could see your equipment on there. They did their best with proportions and so on. So to this day, you know, until the day he died, my dad would probably show me all of the crafted equipment and so on and do the rotation. His dwarves frequently did twirls, twirls for me and so on. And then the various online games. So so Alright, so I need to head northwest. Attribute points available. That. Press E. Character window. What am I hung up on? Hold on. Alright. I really, yeah, I'm more into the health and stamina aspect. Some sort of assassin person. I have been used for getting to use my need to remember. Like I said, I, I, you got swarmed with monsters in dungeon. It was monster after monster, and they're all undead. So I just ran, literally ran it. It's how you handle the bestest dungeons when you, um, when you run into that issue. They are deliberately bad. <laughs> So 
but I'll just pop me onto a horse if it comes. That's nice. That's mighty big of it, you know? Nice of it. There's my heart. Yeah. 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 There's the the part property. Alright, so it's directly used. A great sense of direction. I even think it's back. I actually have very large survival skill set. Um, very. Oh, just a Wow, I just got swung. Those were not friends. I thought they were <laughs> other players. I apparently rode my sword but directly into a carriage. Do I want to explore this or do I want to go somewhere? I feel like that could be a quest. But I certainly don't need another quest right now. So. We'll ghost it over this way. Kind of thing. Kind of bad at it. It looks like it can kill you. We'll certainly try. Scraps wood. See, so this is the way, this is the sort of thing that I'm supposed to be harvest, or excuse me, that I'm supposed to be fighting. I'm like level 4, going to a dungeon. Again, that's how they designed the open world. Um, they chose to keep the layered aspect where you play the same. While, it, while the quests were intended to guide you. Um, they weren't intended to lay out a path that was completely linear. So, you know, if you wanted to, um, in fact, in Daggerfall, you did start out in a dungeon where you were just viciously outmatched, and you could just run it. So that's how I completed the last one. A couple of neat holograms detailing the sorcerer's pet sugar snout. Um, they had a sense of the ridiculous that was very prevalent in gamer guys and nerds around that time where they like the world didn't quite get them and they were just kind of okay with that uh, and they've always been like um to the extent of my knowledge it's been a part of their sense of humor so. sugar snout is no shock way um they went a little heavy on the sauce with women so it wasn't designed to appeal to myself um a couple of the girl testers were pretty hardcore, and um, women, and especially middle class women, understood back in the day. Especially, there was just such a limited amount of fare, and the sex cells environment was so, so much heavier than it is because of the lack of variety. So, you were just done, you know, you, you dealt with that if you were into Dungeons and Dragons, table topping, anything you at all. You were going to see um, something that liberals would complain of complain about is objectifying women and you had to kind of deal with the fact that that wasn't the case that you had to find your own group and that the natural anonymity provided privacy for males um, in which they did express things um, our culture has grown a lot um, it's still the case that I recently um, ran into the section in Mass Effect where you start building relationships and um, I just started laughing because you could boink from the characters and that was their big, you know, scandal that they put out there and it's such an intelligent game. Very smart, you know. Uh, extraordinarily well researched is in addition to being extraordinary in that uh, let me grab a map here. I bet you it'll show me where Abu is. Where's Abu? Where is he? There he is. Walk right past him. Turn my butt around. Go back. So, um, as graphics have expanded and so on, you know, obviously nudies are frowned on now um, because they're just too graphic and too adult, and um, children have expanded in gaming. So they did actually win, and it became a culture, um, and as a result, you know, it's matured insofar as recognizing that's you know, recognizing. Me and Maps, yo. 
My best friend used to use me so bad about it. But, um, it has expanded into a culture itself um, that's separate but subordinate to computers. That is where the games are produced, so. Um. Infestation, Kamira. Ever the voice of reason, Speaker. Ah, here comes someone who can help us now. Hola. Rio. Oh, you're Abu. You must be here about my summons. Good, must good. I? I was just telling Lord Goreshri and Kamira that someone would answer my call. Since you're here, I presume you will wholeheartedly agree to help us save elsewhere from a rage of dragons? Is that really how we count dragons, friend? That's a murder of crows and people like the flash. So much better than flock or herd, don't you think? The Kajiti Defense Force isn't prepared to deal with a threat as big as dragons, especially since they were fighting to liberate Rimmon when the huge beasts arrived. Stay focused. We'll deal with that later. Right now, we must assist the Defense Force. Rendezvous with us at their command post. On your way, however, I have another task for you. I detected a series of power surges that I want you to investigate. This is interesting. I was formulating a spell to track the dragons when I noticed several surges of arcane energy not far from here. They reminded me of an old acquaintance. Has a way with portals. If it is him, I want you to secure his help against the dragons. Hard to say with certainty, but I don't believe so. They remind me of Sir Cadwell, who somehow opens portals with a power of similar intensity. Check the locations I mark on your map before you make your way to the defense camp. Well, Lord Garish Ree is the Speaker of the Main and the Commander of the Northern Elsewhere Defense Force. His aide, Kamira, serves as both a diplomat and a spy, though she would never call herself that. If you want to know more, feel free to ask them. Diplomat spy it seems to be a... Um, My half-sister, Euraxia, conquered Rimmon and other parts of Northern Elsewhere about six years ago. The Khajiiti Defense Force has slowly been taking back their province, but Rimmon is well fortified. And now, because of the dragons, things are worse. A militia drawn from the prides of northern elsewhere. Garish Ree, the Speaker of the Main, has taken command during this crisis. With Dominion troops busy fighting the Three Banners' War, the Defense Force must deal with the Euraxians and the dragons. Never heard of Cadwell? Don't tell him that. Cadwell may be the oldest soul shriven in Cold Harbor. For all his eccentricities, he's certainly the most sane. Fancies himself a knight of old. If you find him, secure his help against the dragons. You're not a Khajiit. What do they teach young people these days? You've never heard of the great Abner Thahn, advisor to emperors and battle mage supreme? No? Well, take my word for it. I'm a very important personage. You should feel honored to meet me. And I am. Hey, Kamira, what's up? Another outsider comes to elsewhere, as if we did not have enough problems between Abner Tarn and the dragons. Ah, do not mind me. Great beasts rampaging through my homeland tends to put me in a foul mood. Who are you? I am Kamira. I assist the Speaker of the Main and serve as his agent. With both the Usurper Queen and the dragons ravaging Northern Elsewhere, there is much for me to do. Too much, I fear. But I will persevere. What can I tell you that you cannot guess? That these fearsome I creatures of legend have returned to threaten Elsewhere? That much is obvious. Damn it. This is all Abner Tharn's fault. Dark Moons, take him! That arrogant Imperial! For an advisor to Emperors and the renowned Battle Mage, he demonstrates a disturbing lack of caution. It was Abner Tarn who entered the halls of Colossus and released the dragons. He says that was not his intention, but... What do my beliefs matter? Dragons have come to elsewhere, destroying everything I hold dear. As the moon singers say, the path to oblivion is paved in good intentions. 
So damn Abner Thorn. Damn him for unleashing this terror upon us. The Oblivion makes me laugh so hard. I ran across this factoid. When the Oblivion opened, the Argonians invaded it. <laughs> um, I tend to, just for purposes of remembering things, um, I like to relate them back to real-world cultures and so on. So, for instance, this reminds me of the Middle East, and the Argonians remind me of Russians so much. Um, and I just laugh so hard about that, because I could just see that. If you've seen, not only have seen pictures and whatnot, I don't speak Russian well enough, even now, that I'm studying it, you know, actively. But, um, if you've ever seen their, um... Okay. Go right here! Oh, I put up my sword again, I put those. I'm not kidding one of them. There we go. I know that happened. Or pretend that didn't happen. I have to hit a button to talk to them right around that. Um... But they're sci-fi, I could just see them invading a black hole or something. They're packed. You're responding to Abnur Thun's letter, one of the promising adventurers. I hope you can help us. But where are my manners? Where are Welcome you, Welcome to Riverhold and the province of Northern Elsewhere, also known as Anequina. I am the speaker of the main... About that. A position in which I've served faithfully for many years. I represent our spiritual leader, the Maine. In addition, I command the Northern Elsewhere Defense Force during this time of trouble. We're dealing with more than just dragons, unfortunately. A few years ago, Abner Tharn's half-sister Euraxia conquered Rimen and parts of Northern Elsewhere. Yeah, that's a we recently thing. liberated Riverhold and were about to do the same for Rimen when the dragons appeared. It's almost as if they came to her aid. Know what Abner Tharn asked. Just as he once served as advisor to emperors, he has agreed to help me formulate strategies and tactics for use against the dragons. It is the least he can do. Since he had a hand in setting the horrid beasts loose... these people are going to bounce done here. This isn't at all like Britannia, Caesarea, whatever you want to call it. I'm not going to give in the wakey wakey eggs and bakey. I got work to do. Greetings, Walker. Have you a moment to speak? Is somebody with the last name Thunderbirds, honey? I'm enough a of crowded a marketplace. A chance name. meeting. Unexpected, unannounced. And perhaps just the thing this one needs to solve a most curious investigation. An abduction, to be precise. No ransom, no demands, no obvious suspects or motives. Just a heartbroken father and a missing young lady. What is this, the but that is why Mizik was hired, yes? <laughs> he steps in when all other justice fails. Correct. Yeah, hired. This one searches for Zinthia, daughter of Ishu. Mm -hmm. However, Mizik's inquiries have led to nothing but dead ends. And with a young lady's safety on the line, the sooner this investigation is solved, the better. So you're gonna you're gonna sublet it, you're gonna outsource. What you're saying. A chance meeting turned fated partnership. Fortuitous for this one, yes? Uh, you should speak to Ishu first, see if he has any new information for us. His house is just south of the marketplace. Can't miss it. Music Thunderboots is a kajit of action. Well, he does not wish to merely boast of his prowess. This one aims to prove such skill. Yeah, you see uh, this one will confess. While Mizik is confident in his skills of investigation, he uh, struggles with the more alarming situations his line of work often entails. Uh, such as when large people threaten him with very sharp daggers. You want to share? Uh, not this investigation, thank the moons. Uh, well, not yet. 
That is where your expertise comes along, yes? Your bravery. This one's cunning, and a few good leads are all we need to... <laughs> it is a good name, no? <laughs> Music Thunderboots. When scoundrels hear the footsteps of his boots, <laughs> they will quake in fear. Oh, well, perhaps you are right. Not, subtle, <laughs> not very subtle, is it? What's up he is a here? humble Khajiit of moderate wealth. Seems to keep to himself. No enemies, no debts. No reason why he would be targeted. Yet just a few days ago, his daughter, Zinthia, was taken in the dead of night. Sounds like a boyfriend to me. Well, strange, no? If Mizik did not know better, he would say that it was an intimidation tactic. Perhaps even an act of revenge against Ishu. But who would wish this cruelty against such a kind Khajiit? They outright dismissed Ishu's claim, believing yeah, that the young lady has merely run away. A most vexing call, truth be told. From all that Ishu has told this one, Zinthia is a most sweet Jakajit, not one to make her father worry. Culture is a little bit misogynistic, and so is gamer culture. I'm gonna. I was gonna say I'm not gonna apologize for it. I'll probably repeatedly apologize for it. Hold on, this words. Yeah, you should so. Um, I have no sympathy for people who act yes and get themselves in trouble, but uh, these. Settings look so innocuous and are public and are monitored. So I do try to do my part by the community when we grow up. And, um, you know, and I give people a heads up just in case they're new. That's not meant to be an offensive interaction. Are you here about this one, Cynthia? Sure Has she been found? Working with Mr. Yes, of course. Zinthia was taken in the like dead of princess. night. This one has received no ransom, yet he fears the worst. She is a very beautiful Jakajit, you see. Ishu believes that the captors may mean to sell her. First world problems, yo. Zinthia has a long, glossy coat, soft as the richest of silks. Her eyes are bright yellow, like the honeyed moons. Ah. Oh. And she Pop always wears a gold necklace. Come on, there's someone you know did it. No suspects, no, but someone who may have spotted something? Hmm. There is a wood elf who tends to stay up well into the night, always singing and dancing that one. If anyone saw something unusual the night Zinthia was taken, it might be her. The wood elf's name is Mel? Yes, that's it. Mel the Musical, she always calls herself. You can usually find her toward the north end of town, near the sand gardens. Ishu will pray for your swift success. Yeah, um, To help do find that. this one's darling, Zinthia, Ishu will answer... Oh, Mel arrived in Riverhold a few seasons ago. Makes a living begging for gold as she sings and dances. She has woken up Ishu more than once banging that drum of hers. Still, we chat occasionally. She is kind, if not a bit eccentric. Mel does not have a home in the traditional sense, so you will often find her sleeping in the stables and bathing in the public fountains. But who is issue to judge, eh? We all have our oddities. Oh. Zinthia is a willful child. A tad spoiled, this one admits, issue dotes on her. The town guard, they do not understand. They say, oh, perhaps she has wandered off, they say. Perhaps she is lost. Such foolishness. How can they be so uncaring? Don't worry, Ms. Thank you. Thank you. May bright God moons you. light your path. Ishu will prepare like a feast somewhere. for Zinthia's return, yes? Perhaps some fish. Ah, yes. Fish is her favorite. This one can already hear her contented purrs. Bounce. Oh my god, you have got cats like it's okay. Look at you.
It's online. I think it's not doing. I'm probably acquiring this like horrible reputation and I don't even know it. Alright, so we're gonna search for an out. Let's find all the musical. So, walk in a straight line here, friends. I make a good move. Right here? Right here. They're telling me Mel is right here. Like right here, right here. Sir oh, I, you actually want me to search for him. Okay. Not the strangest thing I've done in my life. So I happen to genuinely enjoy side questing. I especially like their particular. Well, what do you style. know? A customer. I want to know, sweetie. I'm doing my circumspect. Salutations, Mel the Musical at your service. Are you here for a performance? Issue You're in a the Khajiit with all the cats. That old coot is sweet as honey jagger, but a bit off if you ask me. Shame about his daughter, though. No one should have to go through that. If you're looking for trouble, Tajiri's your girl. I've seen her with all sorts of indecent folk lately. Always shifty eyes on those ones, I tell you. She tends to spend a lot of time behind the stables lately, if you catch my drift. Very good, then. And hey, if you're looking for some entertainment for your next soiree, make sure to seek me out. You won't regret it. I take your time. She's a gambler with a lot of friends in a lot of places. And you know, who am I to judge? Business is business, after all. But as of late, she just seems to be getting more and more suspicious. In fact, there's been a lot of that in Riverhold. Suspicious activity. People who I ain't ever seen before going about town at Dragons. all hours. I mean, I may stay the up well past most time. people's bedtime, but I'm a musician. Comes with the territory. And these new folks aren't bards, that's for sure. All right. So, off to stables. I think I saw those coming out. Ooh, nice mount. What is that? Oh, look, sorry. Bounce my self off your navel there. Um, here we go, stable master. Feel free to inspect any of my mounts. You will not be disappointed. So I can, let's see, characters and all such actors, they could take writing lessons. I'm writing lessons. That's my speed. 189, how am I going? It's blowing red, which is never a good sign. Oh, 250, I have 189. My current. I wasn't sure about Kamira at first. She's so young. But she knows what she's doing. Must be all the years of tutelage under Lord Gareshri. Whole thing, huh? That's worth it. Where's the other one? Zero's no, it seems her old badger friend is snapping. Huh? All right, so you're heading this way. Find anything of interest. There you are. Oh, the stables, hmm? Developed a sudden interest in horsemanship? Wow. Looks to be a coat. A napping badger, eh? Sounds familiar. Ah, <laughs> yes! The Sleeping Badger is a rock formation, just south of Riverhold. But this bit about the sweet trip, that music doesn't understand. Music will mark it on your map, Walker. Feel free to lead the way. And perhaps this is a good time to mention that this one is not so skilled in uh, violent situations, uh, should trouble find us. 
Alright, so I have another sleeping bag here. What's that? Sleeping bag. There it is. Traveling sleeping bag. Traveling sleeping bag. Um, if you ever run into any parts of, you know, the culture, you'll find it stays true to form. Um, from the run back to the conventions, um, to, you know, even going to purchase the dice that it came to the store, you know. Music needs to stop doing that. Everybody is fairly consistent with the dialogue that you're seeing here. What on earth? Oh, it's music. There's a sleeping bag. Oh, I thought we were there. How about that? Alright. Go for a job with me, friend. Found it. Investigate camp. Is this the camp that I wrote through that they attacked me? The irony is killing me. Hold to interact. Oh, Skuma. These vagrants must be smugglers. Oh, neat. Ready, Jane. Oh, dear. <laughs> Music. It's all right. That was the whole thing? Oh, somebody else raided it like the same time as me. <laughs> uh, apologies. Uh, this one is fine. Um, that necklace again. must belong to Zinthia. Come, Zinthia. let us speak away from this place. Power surge got optimistic. Music. Tell you what, you weren't joking, were you? Um. Oh, wait, the weapon. Ooh, missing missing daughter, daughter, hidden daughter, now a band of smugglers. The hidden notes are now a band of skooma smugglers. This investigation becomes messier with every step we take. This one is unsure, is though it is possible Ishu may be hiding something. Still, our priority should be to investigate the gambler who wrote that note. Tajiri was her name, yes? That does ring a bell or two. If Tajiri is a gambler, mm -hmm. it is likely we can find her at the local tavern. Mizik will head there at once and see what he can dig up. Meet him at the banish of that. in town. How about that? Would you be the banished regret? Like I can write on this one. I can. This 
extra hard. You and I need to speak now. I must admit, you and Thunderboots make quite a charming pair. And watching you both play at being investigator, why it's been sleek entertainment, truly. But now, now you tread upon scent that are best left undisturbed. Take it as a friendly warning. Yes, it's a threat. I hear that you seek issues, don't you? I, I find that very fun. After all, everyone in Riverhold knows that she left town many years ago. What? Then issue has become senile in his old age. I speak truthfully. He had one daughter and she is gone. Has been gone for many years. Tell this to your partner and what? drop your investigation now. This is like way last night. Bisahel thought about joining the Order of the San Kash when he was a younger Kashit. But all those rules the adepts must follow, who has the patience for that? Oh, don't get up, friend. Oh, that is a huge cuisine. Hello. Mizik is the model patron, as always. Keeps his room clean, pays for everything in advance, and it doesn't hurt that he's awfully handsome, yes? This one, that one, which one? I can barely keep up with these cats and their damn speech patterns. Following a conversation is like walking through a maze. Confusing and often not worth it. Should be a cash. Um, veracity? Not a goal? In Tamriel? Um, again, they very much, they didn't go for the, um... At the time it was being explained in terms of parallel universe here, and they really weren't shooting for that. Um, very much wanted standalone world. There was no Earth. There are no, you know. If that's this is not a thing, friend. <laughs> Color of crayons. Um, so they weren't even they weren't even trying for that. They weren't about it and they weren't gonna hear about it. Mystic, where in the nine holes are you? Investigate part, yes. I swear, you just did you just run for your room? Like what, what's going on here? Crossfall coup. Vacation for all school in the album and the day. Is the year uh, second epoch five seventy six or second era? Four years before the return of Aaron the Commission of Almary Dominion. A Rexia Thorn murdered the royal family of you know, an illegally claimed the throne of Burma. However, did this occur, and what should the Dominion do about it? It would provide a few pertinent observations. To legalize the worship of Daedra, spark a rebellion, change people's religion. Otherwise, men may wind up facing the threat from the police and borders. Oh, three banners were raided as long. Alright, Mizzik, where are you at, sweetie? I'll wait for you. Um, on the upside of the culture, you have these people who are used to. Um, Completely made up things, and we'll just generally roll with the punches as long you as you look as good as Moonshagar. 
Careful, or Tajiri might lick you. Here's gonna get dropped, sweetie. I'm just gonna lie to me about the daughter, aren't you? Lots of humans. Bright moons look over us today, Walker. Tajiri has just settled down for a round of gambling. While music distracts her, you can sneak into her home and search for another clue. It's just a bit north of the tavern. Hmm. Forgive this one if he's skeptical. Even if this stranger spoke truly, why then would issue higher music? Why would Tajiri have written that note? Why would we find a gold necklace in the smuggler's camp? I found a gold necklace? I hate it when I miss. I just, like, loot the heck out of things. They have, um, you know, like, prizes and boxes and whatnot. <laughs> like, I would just... There's no way I would know that everyone... You know, they used to put them on, like, the Snickers packaging. I'm not sure she also wants us to... Then perhaps this stranger simply wishes to confuse us. Throw us off the scent. <laughs> Besides, we cannot stop now. Not when an innocent young lady may still be at risk. Let us investigate Tajiri before she retires for the night. So you want me to bust into this person's home? You didn't admit that you had those from? I wonder what that I took from you. Why, hello, sweet meat. Care to play a game with old Tajiri? That? I thought that I had it. You're with me, right, friend? Trust Tajiri, is that you? We need more groceries for the house. There's barely anything to eat. And would it kill you to tidy up our room once in a while? The upstairs is a mess. Whoa. Blue serpent slither next to the woods. Four pointed paint shows the goods they do not glitter but mark the way they're prepared to leave town today. Maximum me, I cannot see a guard. I don't want to run. I still feel like this is. This one hopes you have found something of interest, Walker. Music cannot afford to keep Tajiri distracted any longer. And he means that most literally. Oh, no, this one has a phone right now, Matt. Blue serpents? Four pointed. They're reaching for plot. If music had to guess, this poem describes drop off locations for illicit goods. Smugglers often hide them in plain sight. First a sleeping badger, now a blue serpent. That's it. The river is often busy with trade. A perfect place to smuggle goods. 
Let us search along the river and see if we find any barrels or crates with markings. Hopefully we'll find something that will lead us to Zinthia. Misik will admit this case is heading in a rather uh, unexpected direction, which is a bit... It is strange, isn't it? With an operation as intricate as this, it seems odd that these smugglers would target a Khajiit yeah, of such limited love. wealth. Yeah, so this, seems like a boyfriend. this one agrees. But let us first check these smuggler cachets. The note said that the goods were leaving town today, yes? That... I'm sure it's gonna happen. So, thousands. <laughs> Oh, I can't go up over the wall. Alright. He's just ignoring these things now. Be the painted mark we seek? Maybe. Okay, yes. Somerset wine, eh? Not illegal, but incredibly taxed. Music has a feeling this bottle didn't find its way to Riverhold through virtuous means. I think they are anti virtuous means or. I was say, you could swim in all the previous games. What is the... Why would that not be good now? Of course you could also look for some fun, but I... That was my primary concern. Thank you, friend. So really only one at a time. So rude of the other body. Oh, if that cheese isn't illegal, it should be. What a smell. I'm not seeing a pattern here. Starters, <gasps> these are single items. I was looking for more of a code. Music will admit this case is heavy. Yeah, I That's nothing. It doesn't look like there's a bunch of them. The upper? That would be interesting. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> 
music needs to stop doing that. What, killing things? You're not helping, don't worry. Come on, can't I loot you? Nothing. Okay, the nothing. Where's the mark for? Is it? Do you see on this? I'm not seeing that. Alright. Blow shattered swords, shields, and braves. We'll hold way shrine. And I'm like on the mark. Yeah. That painted mark seems curious, no? Oh dear. Music will admit this case. Is there another cache that I wasn't aware of? There is. Oh no. Is it in the camp? This is not good. This is not okay. I already have this one. Oh dear. Let's see if I can kill them. I can take them one at a time, but that might be a possibility. One is fine. Yeah, and that's my concern. You know, I was like, God, if you're okay, then I'm okay. Could that thing? be the painted mark we seek? I feel like it is. Take off. A very pretty scarf for smugglers to wear. Yes, perhaps it belongs to Cynthia. Music will admit this. Why can I have to kill these people? It is looking an awful lot like I do. That's not good. That guy alone could kick my butt. What do you think, Ravager? I have been affected by this thing. Feeling a bit. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Come on, then. 
These parrots smell sweet, but also rotten. What could it be? Astronauts, they're smuggling spoiled moon sugar. Very unsafe for anyone to eat. Speak to Ishu and see what he knows of his smugglers. Then let us meet back at the tavern. We have much to discuss. You think? Should I just go to the last one? I mean, you want me to just sweep it? Just remember that I have magic. Alright, where's the tavern at? Where's the way shrine? Is that the one See if we can close this out before we hang up for the day. Well, I like to, um, I'm gonna stop to chat there. I'm back down south. Sasha lives down here, so. Oh, he goes back and forth. It's like all kicking in. Yes, any news of this one, Zinvia? Smuggler camps, dark moons. Yes, the necklace and scarf belong to Cynthia. Have they? Have the smugglers sold her? By John and Joe, please say it isn't so. No, of course not. Ishu has only lived a good, okay. honest life. Please, you must find this one's Jakaji. She is so young and innocent and the probably babes. terrified Please. without her papa. Whatever will Ishu do if his yeah. Cynthia is harmed? May bright moons watch over you. Oh, oh really? Yeah. Well, Ishu supposes his family has grown over the years. But how could this one not seek their companionship? Their little faces, their tiny paws, his dark. But of course, mostly. Uh, she and Medwick don't always get along, but Medwick is older and doesn't always like to play or be teased. And just between us, Tak Tak can be a bit of a jacuzzi sometimes. I think she. I think she's jealous too. All right, well, we're not gonna wrap. We'll wrap it up for next episode. So I am Ginger. This is Elder Scrolls Online. This is my Empire. Um, if you know me by my other screen name, Alia or Voyrest, uh, hopefully you're having a great time. The storylines that they come up with, they are standalone modules inside of an open world, and that's how they have always done business. So, Bethesda is one of the best. They have this extraordinarily passionate cult following that's made them bestsellers. Um, people hadn't even heard of them until Fallout 76, I want to say. Um, and I was so shocked to hear from them again, you know, because they'd just carved out their niche and gone about business. Um, that I found myself explaining after all these years, it was about 25 years later, this is literally what they do. They release that in its early stages, and they let the beta testers have at, um, and they've always let us run and play and laugh in their worlds. Um, that's how they took off, so I wasn't at all shocked to see them try the tactic again. It's how they got popular. Um, it's, you know, they went in-house while they developed um, the saga that is Skyrim, Oblivion, Morrowind, you know, that sort of thing. I'm um, really more Skyrim than Oblivion, from what I understand, but, um, you know, Morrowind is like, I guess it's open world too, you can have a house and live in the world and so on. Um, you can kill someone and take things. Etc. So, thank you for coming along for the ride. Hopefully you're loving it. Um, drop us a like, hit the subscribe button, it's free. Um, comment if you want to talk gaming. Um, obviously been in it forever unless it's punk then you know i was right there learning how to program and testing away and so on so um we'll see you in the next video and so much love gotta go find a find a guy about it.